Right, so, we've had a good look at this head, me and Marcus, and we think we're going to get away with just new rockers in a timing chain kit, and head ga uh, not even head gasket set, just a rocker cover gasket set, and we reckon it should run, because we've been doing a bit of research and it's a non-interference head, which is good for us. So hopefully the valves aren't damaged, and we can get away with some new rockers, so we're just ordering some more. Oh, it does actually look quite clean in there. And all the valves seem to be sat exactly the same height. We're gonna, the marks is gonna take this casing off on the side here and get to the chain. Because yeah, we're gonna change the chain, then obviously give it a full service. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, the combo, we're gonna, we've just ordered a load of parts, a load of rockers, uh, the lifters, and the cam chain, and chain covers, and a new time and chain kit, and gaskets. So what we're going to do now is take the bottom cover off, take the side cover off, start stripping it down, get it ready to do that, and we're just going to see how it goes on with the valves. So we'll see how we go from there. Anyway, watch and enjoy. We have been looking online, and a lot of, well, I think they're non-interference heads, aren't they? If we look here, the way we don't The non-interference has yeah. brought the rockers, right. but it's just how bad they've done yeah. it. We'll know, we'll know, it's worth trying. We're going to take the risk, we're going to take the risk. Right, enjoy. And there we go. As you know, and everybody in time to future will know that that is left-handed thread. And people will say, you know now, if you try doing it a normal way, you'll be snapping bolts and then you'll have a new crank and everything done. So, definitely everybody realise that's a fresh left-handed thread. We've got to take the water pump off because you've got all the gaskets around these to take the water pump off. You've got to take the belt tensioner and the idler pulley off as well. Now, some people take the sumps off. As you know, the sumps do rust a bit. You've got to be careful. That's not too bad, but they do. But what we're going to do now is take all these bolts out ready for the timing chain cover housing to come off. We've had to take the bottom covers off because we need to take the engine mounting off this side. To take the, the timing chain cover off, you have to take the engine you mounting. Breath, are you alright? I've just carried jack. Do you want to sit down? No, I don't. So that's what we're going to do this. Take this off, but take that off to get this off. Once we've done that, we should be able to take a couple of bolts and time change over. Should come off. Right, sorry. Right, so we've got that out now. And take this off. The engine mounted on. So now we've done that, now we're back to 10 mils. And a cup of tea. Good brew. Right. Right, the oil pump is fastened to the bottom of the casing. So basically, we do have to take the sump off because I was hoping we could get away with it with the oil pump staying on, but it doesn't. We haven't got an engine brace here, have we? I'll have to make one. I'll have to make one across with a piece of wood and some rope. Why? Because I've got to take the sump off because I'm realising now that the oil pickup pipe. Yeah, yeah, down that side. That side. Yeah. Right, so we're going to have to take the sump off. Aren't we? Yeah, just take the sump off to get to the oil pump. Because it could be the oil pump that's the problem that's caused the problem in the first yeah, place. Yeah, and we've decided we're going to get a new oil pump as well. Yeah. Whilst the sump's coming off, it'll be yeah. stupid not to do the oil pump. Yeah. Because that might be the whole reason why it's done this. Done, done this. So right now, we're just building a little brace for the engine. So we can uh, lower the sump. Because there's no mount on it now, is there? N no, there's so no mount on that side. We've had to take the engine mounts off to get the casing off. But obviously the engine's going to drop if we lower the jack. Yeah. But we need to lower the jack because the sump has to come off. So yeah. we're just so going to put this get the engine casing off, the sump oil pump picks up from it. I didn't realise it did, but it does. So this is just to stop the bar moving and the engine dropping. So we'll just do that now. We had a proper brace, we'll use one of them, but we haven't got one at the moment. But. So make, make do and mend, right? Yes. Break. That's the one. Or make do and bodge. Right, right, how's that? No, do you not hold that bar? Well, I'll let this down slowly. Right, one minute. Put this in. Oh, yeah, it is. 
the dry shaft and the subframe that's holding that. But at least it's a safety precaution as well. A bit of extra. Yeah, so that's all right. Is it full? Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's just double check. No, it's got loads in. Make sure that's open. Right, oh, it's because you lifted it up. Right, so we're drilling that oil now. Look at that. It's a bit dark, isn't it? What a shame. It will be dark. Right, everybody. Verdict time. <laughs> we've had a bit of a mission to get this sump off, but we've got it off. We've just done some investigation on the timing chain. As we can see, has snapped. So that is one of two things. One, over revving it's locked up, or two, the oil pump. And I think it's the oil pump because if you look round it, it's quite dry. It's wet up there, but dry round here. And if you look, we've topped the bottom cover off the actual sump of the vehicle, and it's quite dry. That should be full of oil. So that tells me when you look up there, it's dryish. Can you see what I mean? It's like clean, it's like new, and it shouldn't be like that. So that gives me impression that the oil pump is packed up. So that's our problem. I don't know what the main bearing and the big end shells are gonna be like, but uh, that's what we're gonna to have to do. So we're gonna to have to get a new oil pump and casing, cause that is mm. the, the oil pump. So we'll go from there. So what's basically happened, the chain snapped, <coughs> the valves have shot up, smashed the followers. I think the oil has got low fur. The yeah, oil yeah. pump has packed up yeah. and it started to strain the engine and then, then it's just boom. Yeah, so the oil pump's obviously died. Yeah. Making the pressure low. Yeah. <coughs> got to a point where it's that bad, it's caused the... Uh, but we look to the bores, the bores are good. The bores with my camera, don't, they're not scored. So it's a funny situation. I don't know where to take a shell off. I, I think it'll be all right, mate. Right, well, we'll try it then. Only because what's happened to this, I've been looking online, it's literally that is what happened. <clears throat> they, they're notorious for these pumps going. That's why everyone says always change that pump. Yeah. So I think we're best off just doing the chain, the pump, the rockers and, and, and the and the uh, and the uh, hydro lifters, which yeah. is what we're doing. So, so we just need to get a pump now for this. What now is we'll have to let it back down, and I'll start cleaning the head up. Right. All the needle rollers that have dropped and fallen through, and clean it all. Mikey boy, it's the combo time. <laughs> so with what we've done is we've had to we had all the rockers smashed. All the valves, we're going to try and see if we can get away with the valves. We won't be removing them. We're just going to put in one of them. But what we're going to do is we're putting new rockers, new lifters, uh, new timing chain kit, uh, new sump, because the pumps are rusting away. So we're putting a new sump on and we're putting a new oil pump, which is a common fault with these, to be honest. Tell this the chain snapped. It had snapped the chain. If you look at the chain, I will show you the chain and the parts in here. As you can see, shear. No, and all the bits so, in there, aren't All the bits are in here. Off the vehicle, and we're going to change it all. We're going to put a new sump on because when you get the sumps off, they're not really seem to bend, and sometimes they don't seal properly. And it's got a bit, as you can see, so we'll just change it for what it is. Make the car right, make sure it's right, and it'll go all right. You know what I mean? So there we go. So it's a case of now is to start rebuilding, clean everything up, and start rebuilding. There's all the parts to do it all. And everything new. Well, that's expensive, wasn't it? Yes, it is. How much do we spend on parts now? About six or seven hundred pounds, nearly enough, in parts. Yeah. And yeah, on parts you spent alone. And that's not including oil we're going to put in. Just the oil pump? Yeah. Pump and what we are doing as well. When you've done this, you run it for about ten minutes 
and you change the filter. So well, that's that's a, yeah. So you go, oh, I don't roll it. We don't have to do a service yet. No, 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 no. With all the metal bits and filings and everything, you need to get rid of it all, and you need to start fresh. That's what you need to do. So watch this space. We're on to the uh, lifters. I don't lift it. They're all in sealed, and everyone's sold separately. As you can see, they have a little plastic thing to stop them from keep the oil in them. But these are going to be inserted in oil. If you don't just put them in with no oil, in, sometimes you won't get the valves to move down because the doesn't get enough lift. So what you do, get some oil, put it in, let it run. And then you've got your, you're going to do all 16 of them. I must turn out putting the charming chain uh, on it. I've got all the cam housing back on, all the rockers, all the lifters, hydro lifters, all built back up, all tightened down. Now I've got to put the charming chain on and the gears and time it all up. You struggle saying timing chain, don't you? You struggle saying that. Go say timing chain three times. Timing chain, timing chain, timing chain. Oh, only just. Oh, give up. Have you put the sump back on? No, that's the last thing I put on because right. I've got to put the oil pump on first. So, uh, have we got a new tensioner for the chain? A new no. tensioner, it's on. Oh, so we've got a new tensioner as well. Yeah, you get and everything. And new guides. New guides, oh, new tensioner, good. new oil feed for thing. Yeah, so it's going to be like Branny. Yeah. It's going to be a Branston. Right, hi everybody. We've uh, started putting it back together now as we put the sump on. Uh, we're putting all the pulleys on, we're getting the exhaust back on now, I'm just fastening all the exhaust back up and the brackets and everything, the engine mounting brackets back on, uh, we've freed all the pulleys, put all the pulleys on, I'm going to put the belt and everything on now, but with these I'm going to give you a bit of a clue, because this is the FD and it's the later version, everybody on the other ones have a timing mark that goes through the, the flywheel here on the other ones, on these no. If you look here, if you come to this side, there's actually a peg hole here on the top there. And not everybody knows where that is. Now, if you don't have a nut sump hole with your peg there, it's actually here and it goes into the flywheel. So if you see now where I put the light up there, you can see the line on the hole there on the later ones. And you can pull. Right everybody, we're stuck on the last stages now, we've got uh, all the wiring to unplug, plug back on and get it all, all where it should be in the brackets. We've got to put all the fuel lines and the fuel filter housing back on now and the washer block buckle back, fasten it all the light and uh, get everything, the ECU has been plugged back in. So we've just got a, a plumber's nightmare they call it, but uh, get it all back together and we'll uh, we'll go from there the injectors are all in i've got the injector bleed off rail to put on and sort that out and we'll uh, we'll go from there yeah it's almost there now isn't it yeah it's not far off so we better look let's see what happens yeah well is it almost ready for testing yeah we need wow. to put, i need to change oil now put oil filter in and then we'll uh, go from there this is the oil filter Taking out the new one in. Oh. Oh. 
that's bad. That is bad, isn't it? Bad that. It's not been, that's never been changed. That's not been changed good enough, so yeah. Wow. There's the new one. New seal. A new lease of life. New filter in. <laughs> Perfect. Right, we've got all the oil in. So what now? See if we get it to start, see if it turns over, see if the not far. Can that oil cap on? So, oil filter done, oil change done. Yep. What about water? We're not putting any in until we get it running. Right, okay, no problem. <laughs> so, so, some, oh no, go on, no, that's no, fine. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get another battery on it. Right, moment of truth, boys. We'll see if Marky boys uh, work. Is as good as he makes out. What do you say, Mackie boy? Always good. Always. So we've got it fully assembled now. Do you like how I keep like how I, do you like yeah, how I keep saying it. we? <laughs> it's all done. Oil in, everything, new timing cover, new oil pump, everything on now, air filter, everything sorted, exhaust back on, uh put the battery back on, just sorted everything out, anti-freeze in it, fuel filter back on, I primed it up. Let's just see how she goes. It did it click then, so it's something not quite good in the connection. This one. That battery's flat. Right. I'll turn the key, Mikey boy. Right. Are we ready? Yep. Yeah. There you go. Another runner. Another one got an RP. Hey, hey, hey. Sounds alright. Back you it. Why do you always farm and joke and joke? Yeah, you need to quit then. Tell you what. What do you reckon? That isn't breathing at all. No. Normally you can feel a bit of back pressure, but it's not breathing at all, which means it's, it's not very warm this engine, it's really crispy. No lights on that. No light. No lights on that. That's what we like. Sticking away nicely. Yeah, yeah give it a few then. We've done it boys. We've done it. Another runner. <laughs>